Hi all, today we are going to discuss about Android service lifecycle. What is service? We have seen that many times we need some background activity for our, for our application to do some task like if you are playing music or downloading something from internet. All these components are part of services and one advantage is it runs in the background and have no UI attached to it. A service is a component that runs in the background to perform long running operations without needing to interact with the user and it works even if application is destroyed. A service can essentially take two states. We can have two type of services, one is started service and the other is bond service. In started service, a service is started when an application component such as an activity starts it by calling start service of method. Once started, a service can run in the background indefinitely even if the component that started it is destroyed. In bond service, a service is bound and an application component binds to it by calling bind service method. A bond service offers a client server interface that allows components to interact with the service, send requests, get results and even do so across processes with IPC interprocess communication. Let us first see the started service lifecycle. So here to call a service we use start service method and to create a service call we use on create method and to start a service we call on start command method after which the service gets running and to stop it we use on destroy method which shut down the service. Similar to it we have a bonded service. In which to call a bond service we use bind service method and to create it we use on create method. To bind the service we use the on bind method in which the clients are bound to service and to unbind it we use on unbind method. And to destroy it we use on destroy method after which the service gets shut down. And the first on start command method, the system calls this method when another component such as activity requests that the service be started by calling start service method. If you implement this method, it is your responsibility to stop the service when its work is done by calling stop self or stop service method. And in on bind method, the system calls this method. When another component wants to bind with the service by calling bind service method, if you implement this method, you must provide an interface that clients use to communicate with the service by returning an iBinder object. The system calls unbind method when, an, when all clients have disconnected from a particular interface published by the service. And on rebind method means the system calls this method when new client have connected to the service. After it have it had previously been notified that all or had disconnected in its un, unbind method. And on create means the system calls this method when the service is first created using on start comment. And this call is required to perform one time setup. And the last is on destroy method. The system calls this method when the service is no longer used and is being destroyed. 